making a fresh start, a whole new you. And of course, someone else gets to be a new them too. Not everyone's good at giving up old stuff, especially not Rosie. Dad, did you give away all my stuff? But I'm not supposed to talk about that. Okay, but you dragged it out of me. It all started when Rosie came out with the perfect midnight feast. Drinks made out of pineapple and stuff. We decided it was her turn to host the sleepover. And that's when it nearly was the end for Rosie and the sleepover club. Now, you all know the jumble sale to raise funds for the new gymnasium is Saturday. I'm expecting big things from all of you. In fact, I'm going to give a prize to whomever collects the most jumble. A week of free smoothies at the Beach Hut Cafe on me. Yes! Yes! OK, you can go home. I'm donating my whole spring summer collection from last year. We are so going to win those smoothies. In your dreams, you leftovers don't stand a chance. And who's going to beat us? You? Please. Maybe you'd like to put your smoothies where your mouth is. We'll do better than that. If you boys win, we'll serve you the smoothies ourselves. In bikinis. Oh. Right there in the middle of the beach hut cafe. I was on a roll. There was no stopping me. That happens sometimes. You're on. And if you win, not that it's going to happen, you serve us the smoothies in bikini, <gasps> right there in the middle of the Beach Hut Cafe. Deal. But relax, they haven't got a chance. I hope you know what you're doing. Do I look worried? No, but that's what I'm worried about. What was I thinking? I can't give this away. It's so me. It's going. You got us into this bet. And now your so me things are going to get us out of it. Frankie dared them. I am not, repeat, not wearing a bikini in front of those heinous and horrendous boys. Don't worry. It won't come to that. We'll win the jumble challenge easily. Frankie, I, I don't know what to say. We're all so, so grateful. Rosie's got a great idea. The perfect midnight feast. Tell us more. Dad made us watch this Elvis Presley movie the other night. Elvis? I know. Anyway, it had this really cute beach party with drinks made out of pineapple and stuff. Can we do grass skirts and everything? Why not? She's ready. For what? You're ready to host your first sleepover. <laughs> host a sleepover? The Elvis beach party thing. That's great. I was thinking we could, you know, do it on the beach. Get the whole Hawaiian effect. We can start off on the beach. Sing a few songs. Play volleyball. Have a bonfire. Then, when it gets dark, we can head back to your house. But it would be much better if we actually, you know, stayed on the beach. Oh, my parents won't like it, though. Well, it's worth asking. We can't have a bonfire inside, can we? I guess it's worth a try. As you can imagine, we had to break it to Rosie that our parents weren't exactly keen on the idea. Dad said we can definitely have the bonfire. He checked it out with the council. It's going to be so fantastic, sleeping under the stars and everything. I've always wanted to do that. Rosie, the thing is, we're not allowed. What do you mean? Our parents won't let us. Big surprise. Not. But... <laughs> that means the sleepover has to be at your place. I don't. My dad... 
It just wouldn't work. Sure it will. We can do all that stuff we talked about on the beach and then we can head back to your place before it gets dark. Simple. Maybe we should just call the whole thing off. No way. I've already made the grass skirts. <laughs> and I'm with Rosie. We definitely should cancel. Seriously, it wouldn't work. Wouldn't work? Guys, I can't. Can't or won't? Spill. What's the problem? I just don't want to host, OK? You don't want to host? Ever? That's what she said. That's what the sleepover club is all about. Well, I can't. And if that means that I can't be in the club, then I guess I'm not. Rosie. Rosie. I'll go. I don't want to talk about it, Linz. You have to. We're your friends. It's our job to squeeze every little secret out of you. Then you get to do the same to us. That's how friendship works. I have to sort this one out on my own. Maybe we can help. Maybe I can help. Really? Thanks. Come on, we're worried about you. Hiya, Petto! How was school? What's he doing? Teaching himself to play golf. He's already hacked up the back lawn, so now he's moved on to the front. Isn't that about time you introduced it to your dad? After all, we've seen him dancing like a lunatic. We all really want to meet him. And, Will, you never stop talking about them. Another time? I really have to get stuck into that maths homework. Ooh, yeah, sure. OK. Bye. And thanks for walking with me. Sure. You didn't want to invite your friend in? She had homework to do. You don't have to know everything about my life. If I didn't know better, I might think you were ashamed of me. I'm not ashamed of you. My golf's getting better, I swear. <laughs> you think? Hey, Rosie. Hey, Will. When did you blow in? Oh, just now. Back for three days of family bonding. Juice. Great. There's no chance he's adopted, is there? It scares me that we share the same genes. So, I had this great idea for your room today. What if we went for a light apple There's green? There's no rush, you know. Oh, I know. It's just that, well, your room's the last one to do upstairs, and I've got the time. Dad, it's fine. You can't keep putting me off forever. You know why she doesn't want it done. Don't you have somewhere to be? Mm -mm. Making a new life here doesn't mean forgetting your old one. Your mum would understand. It's what she'd want. I have homework. I decided that we had to take action. We need to find a way to get inside her house. Check out what's going on. Make sure she's OK. I'm not sure about this. If she wanted us to know, she'd tell us. It does seem a bit full on. What if she's in real trouble? It's not like we can just walk up to the front door and say, hi, would you mind letting us in? We need to inspect your house. Check up on your family situation. We need a plan. OK, so that plan needed work. Kenny thought a less direct approach might work better. Are we there yet? According to this, we should be right under the living room. Frankie, would you get your feet out of my face? Shh. I think we're here. That's when I figured we were making it more difficult for ourselves than it probably needed to be. Uh-oh. Oh, the living room, huh? It's going to take weeks to get this sand out of my hair, Kenny. The jumble sale. That's how we're going to get inside. We just knock on the door and ask for some jumble. Just like that? Just like that. What about Rosie? She has her dreaded piano lesson this afternoon. You really have thought of everything. Not quite everything. What am I going to wear? <sighs> Hi, Mr. Cartwright! I've been doing some painting. 
Nice place you got here. I'm not much of a handyman, so it's taking a bit longer than expected. The sale's a fundraiser for the new gymnasium. We're hoping to win the competition for collecting the most jumbo. Kind of makes working for a good cause fun and worthwhile. That's exactly what the boys said. What boys? Three of them. They had leaflets the whole bit, seemed very dedicated to the cause. Dedicated to causing us grief. <laughs> Pardon? Nothing. They're just, well, they're boys. I see. And you know how boys are. This is Rosie's brother, Will. <laughs> He's supposed to be studying. Would have been rude not to say hi to our guests. Hi. 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 Right, jumble sale. Now, I did promise the boys a few boxes. Uh, most of it's stuff from the UK I haven't unpacked yet, but there's plenty for all of you. Must be great living so close to the beach. If Dad ever finishes the house. Where's Rosie's room? Uh, top of the stairs. Only room Dad hasn't started on yet. Really? Uh, could we take a look at your, uh, jumble stuff? Sure. Thanks so much for helping us out, Mr Cartwright. Glad to help. Actually, there's something else we wanted to talk to you about, Mr Cartwright. Shoot. It's about Rosie's bedroom. It's all about timing. If we don't get that right, then we're... Oh, hi. It's okay. I get the message. What message? I know I can't be in the club anymore, but I thought we might at least still be friends. We are. Sure. What do we do? Nothing yet. Kenny, she's upset. <sighs> Just stick to the plan. Everything will be fine. You'll see. Do you want to talk about it? Or is this one of those, um, leave me alone, I'm growing up by myself things? You've been watching too many talk shows. Oh, well, I blame writer's block. Moving to Australia was pretty tough, especially with mum and stuff. Then I made these new friends. Everything got easier. I felt like I belonged or something. Oh, stupid. And now? Now I've mucked it all up. They don't want to know me. I'm such a loser. Work out, Rosie. Will it? You'd be surprised at how forgiving people can be. Maybe. So, uh, what are you doing tonight? Well, my social calendar is just jam packed now that I'm totally friendless. Good. Then you can help set up the jumble sale. Dad, no way! Yes, way. PTA need volunteers. Your brother says he wants to help, too. He doesn't even go to school there. Mm, well, he'd never say so, but I think he sees it as a chance to hang out with you. And to soften you up before asking for more pocket money? Mm, probably. Come on, I'll give you a ride down there. Dad's on to you, you know. About what? Why you're doing this? I'm going because it's a good cause. Sure. Aren't I, Dad? You're going so I can get some work done, and because it's a good cause. Mr Cartwright was keeping his side of the bargain. Now it was time for us to do the same. There's no way we're going to be able to get this done in time. Not when we're supposed to be out collecting jumbo. What about the bikini bat? Bikini bat will be fine. Now, everyone think positive. I can't do anything until I go home and change. These outfits. It's all wrong. I love those earrings. Are those the ones you got for your birthday? Yeah, not too dangly. Not at all. Can we please just get on with it? 
This is Rosie's room. Oh, gross. Poor Rosie. How could she live in this? And we've got how long to do this renovation rescue thing? I thought it might be bad, but where do we start? No wonder she wouldn't have us over. Imagine waking up to this. Well, you will be if we don't get a move on. Oh. Well, there goes oh. soccer practice. Who's that? Her mum. She's pretty. She looks just like Rosie. That's sort of when we realised fixing up Rosie's room was about more than just painting the walls. We need to move her stuff down to the garage before we can get started. Most of it's still in boxes. See, things are looking up already. I'm thinking pink. You know, make a statement. Sure, but is that the statement Rosie would want to make? Pink? Who wouldn't? I was thinking maybe something a bit more cool. Exactly. Efficient, practical, functional. Sounds like a factory, not a bedroom. Uh, and you've got a better idea? I reckon I do. Gather around. Oh, this is closer, Michael. Oh, I, I don't know about what... this. Hang on, this is Rosie's house, isn't it? The guy that answered the door did look kind of familiar. Jackpot! Cool! Those girls don't know what they're in for. Suits you. Idiot. So, why is Rosie Star giving us all their jumble? Who cares? Look at it. The smoothies are ours. It's so perfect I could cry. I'm gonna make <laughs> is totally boring. It's forced labour. You'd actually have to do something before you could call it labour. <laughs> I don't think I could push her any further, Captain. <laughs> Miss Nichols, we've come to claim our victory. I see. Do I want to know where all this came from? Miss Nichols, this is about improving our school. Aha. Uh -huh. Well, boys, it seems the smoothies are all yours. Yes. 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 If no one else tops you before the deadline expires in less than an hour. Hey, man. Nice hat. You think so? I've seen that somewhere before. There's a good reason for that. Where did you get this? This is all my stuff. You! Your dad said we could have the boxes in the garage. This is what was in them. Matthew, perhaps we need to have a little chat? Right now, push it through the door. Push it through the door. Oh, great timing. David Cartwright. Yes, Will? We don't have a lot of time to get this jumble down to the centre. What? Right, OK, see you soon. Rose is on her way home. Now. <laughs> Coming, everyone, find a place to hide. Dad? 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 Did you give away all my stuff? Yeah, Will told me what happened. There must have been a mix up. We'll sort it. First, the sleepover girls throw me out. Now you do too? Literally? It was so embarrassing. You have no idea. Those boys will never let me live this down. Yeah, I, I know you're upset. Upset? They saw my. You know. Underwear! There's something I want you to see. Now? I just want to go to my room. Okay, if that's what you want to do.
so you don't go touching the walls. Unless you want a handful of paint. <laughs> what they said. <laughs> I can't believe it. It's fantastic. It was Lindsay's idea to do a wall each. She also had the photo made up too. Ta -da! <laughs> it's great. I love it. <laughs> I don't know what to say. <laughs> Say you'll host the sleepover. I'll host the sleepover. I'll host the sleepover. <laughs> the room worked out better than we hoped. Rosie loved it. There was only one thing we needed to worry about now. The jumble sale! The jumble, the jumble sale! sale! <laughs> we made it to school just in time to win the jumble competition. So we won the bet with the M&Ms too. Between you and me, that was the sweetest victory of all. Bless you, a genius. I know, it's a gift. <laughs> hey, Matthew, that colour looks great on you. <laughs> Perhaps you boys would be interested in some part-time waitressing jobs? <laughs> Life is so sweet. <laughs> you may have won the battle, but don't go thinking you've won the war. <laughs> you want a beach party? I give you a fully approved beach party. <laughs> Ta-da! Oh, this is too much. You thought of everything. And now for the final touch. Guys, thanks. This is perfect. When we're good, we're very good. To us. To the sleepover club. <laughs> Cheers. So that's how Rosie ended up hosting her first sleepover and making a fresh start. Anyone can do it. You just gotta be willing to give the old stuff away. Old clothes, old secrets, all the stuff you hang on to but don't really need. I'll take these, please. Okay. Oh, and this. But, Fliss, aren't these the clothes you donated yourself? I know. Okay. <laughs> Only problem with being the new you is leaving the old one behind. Sometimes <laughs> that's easier said than done. Hanging around is just no fun when you're alone. Just how love does funny things to people. I can't go through anything like what happened at the Swim Carnival again. If it hadn't been for the SOCs, I wouldn't have made it through. <laughs> and neither would Fliss. Let me at those dumb little wood shit! It's all because of the way people lose their heads over romance. Come on! Lift those knees! Suck in that air! It all started last Wednesday morning. Dad had gone on a health kick. That's it. You can do it. <sighs> Why he suddenly decided sweat was so good for him, <laughs> I don't oh. know. Hi. How was it? You can feel it doing you good. Oh. The swimming carnival's on Monday. Can you sign my consent form? Can't wait to cheer you girls on. This was not my dad. Swimming, way too sporty. Last time I asked, he was not keen. Hey, Dad. The swim carnival's next month. You're not coming, are you? I think I'll give it a miss. A bit too vigorous for me. No problems. Couldn't grab me another cup of coffee, could you? Save me getting up. Want some wheatgrass juice? No, thank you. Says here. Heaps of alien abductions are reported, but never confirmed. 
people taken by aliens and replaced with exact doubles. Sorry, love? Nothing, Dad. Hmm. It makes you think, doesn't it? No, no. It's left of the nebula, right at the black hole, then it's the third planet along. <laughs> Looking forward to seeing you, Zephyr. In fact, it could explain a lot. Ooh. Her lifetime of misery came to an end when poor Catherine of Aragon died. Alone, broken-hearted, a has-been queen. All because her husband, Henry VIII, went to some palace party and lost his heart to Anne Boleyn. And then later he met someone else? So he had Anne's head chopped off? I'm afraid so. Cool. <laughs> This had a rose-tinted view of romance. So, Ryan, what is that spherical object thou kickest so pointlessly? Thank you, girls. And yes, as Marco has told us already, next week we will do the life of Henry's second wife, Anne Boleyn. Any volunteers? Okay, Fliss. Who's your partner? Oh. Marco, excellent. Huh? So, class, next week Aww. we will hear from Fliss and Marco <laughs> on uh, <clears throat> Anne Boleyn. <laughs> Too bad. We were aiming for a line of banana. <laughs> Tough break, man. Here's how it works. You find ten books by Thursday and you call me. Drag, but what choice have I got? She gave me a number, so I have to call her. You've got Slide Bottom's mobile number. How else can I call her to boss her around? Although, there's a million things I'd rather be doing. You know, I'm really glad to hear that, man, because the fact is, you don't stand a chance against Ryan Scott. Love, it's the strangest thing. Does the strangest things takes me on that merry-go-round, turns me upside down. It turns me on and turns me off and then it turns me on again. Where have you been? It's the strangest stargazing. That night, the sleepover was at my house. Exercising, watching what he eats, a new haircut? This could only mean one thing. He's getting fat and his hair's too long. He's got a mystery woman on the scene. My dad? Swim carnival is Monday. When are we going to organise the relay? Let's stick with alien abduction. I can handle that. What have aliens got to do with the relay? <laughs> Millennium Man magazine. I found it in the toilet. Linz, what about the bathroom speed record? I was timing you. Oops, I forgot. It was beginning to look like the SOCs had a point. I mean, what self-respecting extraterrestrial reads articles like... Wheatgrass. The healthy way to a new you? Mystery, Mystery woman. woman. But what woman? <laughs> Dad doesn't even know any. <sighs> he talks to the deli lady. He waves to the male lady. He argues with the parking officer. That's three potential new stepmoms. Rosie, don't speak to your mother, your mother, mother like that. Mm. It's better than mum, mum with three heads. What's up with Rosie? I know. Let's distract ourselves and talk about the swim carnival. Kenny, huh? we're talking about life here. Oh, the swim carnival. Kenny, you're right. Dad's never been to it before. So why is he suddenly coming on Monday? This can only mean one thing. Mystery woman will be lurking at the pool. Mm -hmm.
Miss Nichols? The mystery woman? They were touching. You know, they could make an interesting combo. Huh? Winner of race one, Kendra Tone. Oh, oh look, Kenny won! Hey, hey, go, oh, Kenny! Go, Kenny! Woo! Kenny! Yeah. 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 Got a mobile number. There's got to be some way we can use it. I've got it. It's simple, yet brilliant. Simply brilliant. Brooke Ashton. Every school in the world has one. Boys dream about her, girls dream they are her. But Al Brooke was a serious freak. Because despite all this, we all liked her. So, uh, what's the plan? Huh? Huh? Huh. Give me some mobile. I tried my best to deal with it. I really did. Come on, Rosie. Time to get wet. Wait for it. Hmm? Right, she's reading. <laughs> she's freaking. <laughs> oh my. What is it? They're not making cherry lip gloss anymore? What event are you in, Ryan? Ryan? Ryan! Whoa! What does he mean, what event am I in? I've memorized every event he's in. I don't think you should answer it. Why not? Well, not just yet. We need to think about this. Go slow. Play it smart. Slow, smart. It's a fact I'm gonna die. On your marks. <laughs> Get set. <laughs> Go! Go! Rosie! Rosie, come on. In that moment, I saw it. Go, My future Rosie! family cheer squad. SOCs? This is starting to reach life-altering proportions. She'd be at your house all the time, hanging around. A teacher. English assignments due tomorrow. Oh, and Rosie. Huh? I found your bra underneath your bed this morning. <laughs> Dad and Miss Nichols must be kept apart whatever it takes. Aren't you forgetting what happened last time we interfered with Miss Nichols' love life? And not having a love life! The important thing is not to wait for chances. We have to go looking for them. All backstroke competitors, please report. Oops, backstroke. Gotta go. Subject shows no sign of moving. Repeat, no sign of moving. It's okay. Your dad's over there. Okay. I, I think... We need to relax for a moment. So, Ryan, you want to know what event I'm in? <laughs> oh, we've so sucked her in. <laughs> What's it say? <laughs> it says we are geniuses. Let me see. <laughs> so, Ryan, do you think we should message her back? You know, Ryan, I think it would be rude not to. <laughs> <laughs> Frankie may not have been able to hear what they were up to, but she knew the M&Ms were up to something evil. But right now, there were more urgent things to attend to. Right, I think I'll go and get some drinks. Anyone want one? I'll get them. You take it easy, Mr Cartwright. Really, I don't mind. 
All that exercise Rosie tells us you're doing? You should be resting up whenever you can. Lynn's had done brilliantly, but it was just the beginning. seconds. <laughs> this is bad. Dad's not funny. What do we do now? I hoped it wouldn't come to this. No way, Ruth. Not that. What choice has she got? Anything but that. It won't work. What Kenny meant is that it always worked. Problem is, it's so uncool. What is it, Kenny? Ow. Tell me where it hurts. Did I say I was desperate? Ow. Oh. Dad, I feel sick. They're pulling fake sickies. Things must have gotten desperate. What is a turtle babe like you doing at a carnival like this? Man, you are a genius. Yes, well, the trick is to keep it short but still get in just the right amount of cheap <laughs> flattery. I'm never going to delete this. What do you think I should say back? Don't say anything. Keep him guessing and be mysterious. Ignore him? Are you serious? Uh, oh, uh, Rosie, what's up? Uh, uh, you look awful. I feel awful. You don't feel like you want to be sick, do you? I could uh, get you a bucket. Right, well, um, you sit quietly and I'll go and get some water. Oh, no, Miss Cart, are you stay I'll go. You sure? I know what you creep boys are up to. No, you don't. So you are up to something. No. Cool. And you won't have to suffer the consequences. Wait a minute. What if there was something going on? What consequences would you mean? <laughs> Oops. Oh. I think we need them to meet up. Yeah. <laughs> Guys. How's this for an incredible idea? Yeah, what? Now that we've really fooled Fliss, like totally, maybe now is the perfect time to call the whole thing off. Yeah, just so we got her on the hook, we stop. Good one, doofus. Fliss, we need to talk. Meet Beach Hut after school smoothie. This isn't good. Yes, it is. In every conceivable way. This is good. Do you even know it's from him? Well, of course it's from him. See, it won't allow me to see who sent it. What? Well, of course Ryan would have his number withheld. Otherwise, every girl would be trying to get it. So that proves it's him. This is just the best day of my life. Poor Frankie. This was way too big for one SOC to handle alone. Aren't you in the relay? Me neither. Too tired after my personal best of butterfly. How's our assignment going? I want to talk to you about that. I've been reading about Anne Boleyn. Did you know she had her eye on Henry long before he even noticed her? She was probably ambitious. Had a dream. I guess if you want to be queen that bad, you have to marry King, right? Anne got so hooked on Henry, she didn't even watch out for what was going on around her. You should always keep your eyes open. Things aren't always what they seem. That's a message I got. Sounds to me like the message is, don't marry a head chopper. Haven't you got some more reading to do?
After making a miraculous recovery for the relay race, I realized there was just no way I could go on keeping Dad and Miss Nichols apart and still have a life. Miss Nichols? I'm sorry my dad's been hounding you. Has he? I hadn't noticed. You don't have to be nice. Ever since the doctors gave him the okay, all Dad wants to do is talk about his experience. I was desperate. I panicked. I hit an all-time low. Right. I read about alien abductions. Sorry, Ms. Nichols, emergency. All SOCs is needed, like, right now. Stop it, Ryan! <laughs> Stop playing games with my heart! Poor Fliss. This is a new low, even for the M&Ms. We've got to stop them. Any ideas? I think it's time we called in some outside expertise. That's our plan. Will you do it? I'm in. Meanwhile, Frankie and I were getting creative. We had a seriously serious payback to attend to. We need something that totally sums up what being Matthew, Michael and Marco is all about. The words oily and worms come to mind. Are you M-M-M? Oh, us? I hope the three of you don't mind. But this note you sent me is so amazing, I just have to share it with everyone. What note? Oh, Brooke, you are so fine. Our glum little lives begin to shine in the hope that one day you will be mine. Although we are but three oily worms, mm -hmm. deep inside mm -hmm. our hearts churn. We're as interesting as wood chip logs. Dear Brooke, take pity on us lovesick dogs. With all our love, M, M and M. I don't remember writing that. I'm sorry you feel like oily worms. Please, lay off the hideous poetry. <laughs> nice day, Max. Thanks, Brooke. That was the best. Pay <laughs> that <know> for what? <laughs> yes. Um, th there's something we need to tell you. Let me at those dumb little wood chips! Let it go, Fliss! Believe me, they're totally paid out. Totally. <laughs> yes, so. What you guys did for me was really great. If your friends won't save you from humiliation, who will? Come on, let's go get a smoothie. There's someone I've got to talk to first. Uh-oh. So much for letting it go. Marco, I need to talk to you. Don't talk. Just smile and nod and look like you're having a wicked time. Got it? What's wrong with him? He's powerless. She's like a witch. You tried to warn me it wasn't Ryan, didn't you? But I didn't listen. Do I smile and nod now? Please. We won't go into why you might have done it, because that's kind of scary. <laughs> Good idea. Yeah. I just want to say I feel bad about not listening to you and not thanking you for the rubbish bin thing. You saw that? Please don't make me say thank you again. <laughs> The rubbish bin should have warned me. You're secretly a nice guy. I am? But mess with me again, and I'll expose you. Imagine if that got around. Imagine if the worms back there found out. Found out what? That you're a nice guy, stupid. <laughs> Marco, I could squash you like a fly. <laughs> Even yeah? after all that happened, I bet if Fliss got an SMS right now to meet Ryan, she'd be there in a flash. Because Fliss believes in romance. It's part of who she is. And as for Dad and Miss Nichols... What's happened to the health kick? Oh, I've finished the article. No need for any more research. So that's all it was about? Research for an article? You can't very well write about health and fitness till you've tried it. So this had nothing to do with Miss Nichols. Miss Nichols? Never mind. Speaking of Miss Nichols, she was asking me about alien abductions. You wouldn't know anything about that, would you? 
<laughs> so, in the end, the only person who really lost their head in all this was me. I totally freaked at the thought of Dad and Miss Nichols, but it was never really going to happen. Anyway, I couldn't have done anything about it, really. As Bliss says, romance will always find a way. Oh. And Dad made me come clean and tell him exactly where Miss Nichols got that stuff about him and alien abductions. So I told him. She must have read it on the back of a cereal box. <laughs> See ya. Just no fun when you're alone But no matter what we're going through Together we can find our way home So come on and sweep the world over And everything will be just fine You and I can wait until the sun So come on and sweep the world over Together we can dream in time And nothing's gonna Money can't buy happiness. It buys just about everything else, which is cool. Unless you haven't got any, which is depressing. I'm gonna tell you what happened because I trust you. But remember, what happens in the club stays in the club. Or you may suffer the curse of a thousand bed bugs. Hey Frankie, what's new? I looked at the girls and thought, would we still be doing this 70 years from now? Double word score? That's not a B, Derry. That's a D. Are you sure? Frankie, you look like you swallowed a fly. Something's seriously wrong. I think I just saw into the future. Whoa, medical emergency. Calling Dr. Kenny. Calling Dr. Kenny. I think we need more pillows, nurse. I'm the only one who can perform this operation. <laughs> this kid has really flipped out. Let me get at her vital organs. <laughs> 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 She'll be all right now, nurse. If she starts talking about the future again, give her the pillow treatment. <laughs> the council of war. Council of war. So it's a real crisis, then? I walked in, you guys were just hanging out. What did you expect? Backflips? Just another sleepover, hey? Same old, same old. Well, you have to decide whether you want this to be a club or a loaf of bread. What's wrong with a loaf of bread? It goes stale, and then it's toast. Every sleepover has to be special. This club has to be special. I'm open to suggestions. Hmm? Each sleepover will have its own theme. Not every week, maybe just once a month. Just think, witches and wizards sleepovers. Wild Wild West sleepovers. Detective sleepovers. It was Miss Plum. In the kitchen with the spanner. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> but we'll have to do it right. Costumes and fix up the bedrooms properly. And get the right mood music. Um, isn't this going to cost a bit? I've got the Gymkhana coming up in three weeks and I really need to buy... Don't worry about the money. We'll get the money where we always get the money. Hi, Mum. I need some money. You guessed it. Our parents weren't quite as supportive as we expected. No chance. What's next? Cable TV in your bedroom? Well... <laughs> Don't go there. If you want to buy fancy costumes, use your pocket money. My slave wages? I was going to talk to you about a raise, Mum. I'd get a good lawyer if I were you. How about a long-term loan? Frankie, if you need extra money, do what everyone else does. Work. Typical. My dad said it would be good for me. They always say that. Then they dump broccoli on your plate. Well, it sounds like that's our only choice. Eating broccoli? I don't have a lot of time with the Gymkhana coming up. Sleepover club rule number five. We, we love, love a, a challenge. challenge. Who wants to be a millionaire? <laughs> You buy something for one dollar and then sell it for two dollars. You're in business, you've made a profit, and you're on your way. Now remember, the art of business is to find out what people want and then sell it to them. Matthew, you're a businessman. 
You own all the water in the world. It's mine. All mine. <laughs> Michael wants a drink of water. What are you going to charge him? 100 bucks a glass. Sucker. That's <laughs> very expensive. But miss, <coughs> I'm dying of thirst. Where's he going to go? I can charge whatever I like. That's called a monopoly. And that's why we have laws to stop one company owning everything. Healthy competition means a fair price for the customer. OK, we're a company. Sleep over ink. All we have to do is figure out what people want and how to sell it to them. We should start a kitty. Bags being treasurer. Good idea. Any spare jobs we get, the money goes in a jar of this place. Beach out after school, all right? We need ideas. Sorry, I can't make it. I'm busy. You guys go ahead without me. See ya. Linz was acting suspiciously. It didn't take long for us to find out why. Yes, it was a deep, dark secret. Linz had her own money-making scheme on the side. Aren't you two meant to be at the beach hut? We thought we'd do a little investigating first. These aren't your dogs. Which means they belong to someone else. Let me continue. Which means you're getting paid to walk them. Mm -hmm. Which means the rumours are true. You do have a job. Are you two practising for the detective sleepover already? Who told you? <laughs> 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 I don't want to talk about it. The money was supposed to be for the club jar. We all agreed. No, it wasn't. Frankie just said it was. I tried to tell you earlier, but you wouldn't listen. Try to tell us what? Don't worry. I won't waste any more of your time. Time is money, as Frankie would say. You're a sneaking rat, Michael. Pass the cheese. <laughs> They've only got one smoothie. Ugh, must be some weird sleepover thing. That is sad. We've got to give Linz a chance to explain. I wasn't talking about Linz. I was talking about the smoothie. Get used to it. We're economising. We came here to talk business. So can we talk business? Any ideas? Molly has a clarinet class tomorrow. What's that got to do with anything? It means I'm stuck with washing the car. Not car washing. It takes forever and it's so boring. It is if there's one person doing it, but not if there's five. True genius. We could scrub up a car in no time. I bet we could do three or four in the morning. Maybe even more than that, if we set it up right. Hey, it's Linz. I didn't come this way on purpose. I'm taking them home. Come join us. We've got a game plan. No dogs allowed. We're not going to hassle you about the money, Linz. If you need to keep it for an emergency or something, that's cool. It's not for emergency. I need a new saddle for the Gymkhana, and walking these dogs is the only way I can afford to get one. If that makes me a traitor to the sleepover club, that's my bad luck. What's going on? Sara and Alana weren't going to ignore a chance like that. Let's go. Linz, are you OK? They were really horrible to you. It's none of your business. Ugh. Well, excuse us for caring. You guys never have fights. I don't stand by when someone looks like you're about to cry. I am not going to cry. The sleepover club's gone broke, if you must know. No big deal. So they want money, do they? We can set up next to the park. All the traffic goes that way to get to the mall. We better figure out what equipment we'll need. I wish Linz was here. Doesn't seem quite right without her, does it? She'll come around. We can whack these on telegraph poles after school on Friday. We'll wait until Saturday morning. Why? Because, in business, if you've got a good idea, you don't show anyone until you're ready to use it. Good thinking, Frankie. Or should I say Ms. Big? I'll get rid of her. What are you doing in there? Sorry, sleepover members only. What do you want? I've got a deal for you. Not interested. I happen to know that the sleepover club is in a hole because you can't afford to do anything. Says who? Look, I can fix things. You can still have all your special outings and feasts and parties and sleepover nights. Money will not be a problem. All you have to do is invite me to join.
Hi, Sleep Over Girls. <sighs> well, no vacancies. That is so not true. Lynn's told us she quit the club. No, she didn't. Yes, she did. Then she only thinks she has. She's not allowed to quit. But I'm offering you money. You can go now. Meanwhile, Rosie was working on Lynn's. We've got a really good plan to make money. We're going to run a car wash in Park Street. Good for you. It's a job that really needs five. I'm busy walking the dogs. It's your money, Lynn's. Nobody thinks that you're a traitor to the club. What about the sleepover afterwards? You won't miss me. Of course we will. Did you really tell Sara and Alana that you'd quit the club? Why do you think I'd do that? Well, is Lindsay out of the club or not? I don't know. She's not talking to me. Can't you, like, read her mind or something? We're twins, not aliens. Warning, warning. We're in the presence of pure evil. <laughs> the sleepovers have something planned for this weekend. Do we look like we care? You could really spoil it, if you knew what it was. And what's it to you? Just thought you might be interested in showing the SOCs what competition is all about. There's money in it. Money? But you have to cut me and Alana in on it. It had better be a lot of money. Who bought these sponges? I did. I'm the sponge girl, as well as a car wash fashion consultant. Plus, those are the types used on pots and pans. How many cars have you washed in your life? It's not big on my list of things to do. Come on, you two. No one's going to stop if they see you're arguing. The caps are coarseless. Soft sponges only. Me and Kenny do the scrubbing. You're on the hose, Fliss. Rosie does windscreens and windows. Cool. That's what I was going to suggest. Our first day in business. It was exciting. Sleepover Inc. Who knows how far we could go. Matthew, Matthew, Matthew. I'm sorry, Miss Thomas. You're working for Sleepover Inc. now, Matthew. The biggest, the best, in a cold, ruthless world. We're better than anyone else. I'm sorry, Miss Thomas. Shape up or ship out. Yes, Miss Thomas. Better get these signs set up in John Dory Road so people know where we are. Come on, Fliss. Boys. What are they up to? All set up. Kenny and Fliss are putting up signs to direct traffic. We'll fix that. We'll get some barriers from the roadworks at the bottom of the street. It's like Miss Nichols said. They've got their car wash, we've got ours. Good, healthy competition. <laughs> oh, yeah. We're, We're back. back. Dirty tricks is right. You took your time. We wanted to make sure we did the job properly. So you found the signs? Yes. Good. I don't want anyone messing this up. Oh, yes, Your Majesty. I still don't get it. Get <sighs> what? Why we had to move the signs? If we want to divert the traffic from going down the sleepover street. So they don't have any customers. And direct them down our road. To our car wash. You got that, doofus? Right. Good plan. So it looks like the leftover girls are going to have a pretty lonely day. They'll really be leftovers this time. <laughs> what are you waiting for? There's customers to serve. 
Cars to wash, money to make. You're still here. I'd expect you'd be washing cars by now. Maybe the motorists didn't see the signs. Are you saying we didn't put the signs up properly? I didn't say that. Because if you did, next time you can put them up yourself. Guys, come on. Hi, Liam. Hi. We're expecting a stack of customers any minute. Good luck, then. We've got to get her back, Frankie. I don't see why we should call. wrong with this picture? At least we look like we know what we're doing. Only there are no customers. And no traffic. I'm going to check it out. I don't think I'm going to make it. Need food. But there's crocodiles between us and the supplies. I think I can get past those savages without being caught, Professor. Good luck, Montana. You're the only chart she's got. <laughs> Having a good laugh then? Frankie, you think I did this? Well, why would I bother? <laughs> think what you like, I don't care anymore! Fine! <laughs> Come on, Frankie, game on! What happened? Lynn's got her own back. She diverted the traffic. I don't believe it. Oh, no. Meanwhile, Rosie had found out the truth. <laughs> <laughs> the M&Ms have got their own car wash going on the other side of the park. The rats. The M&Ms? <laughs> oh, no. People are going to get fed up here if we don't get a move on. Now, I felt really bad. Give me 10 minutes. Hey, where are you going? To do some crawling. <sighs> Thank you so much. Oh, my pleasure. See you tomorrow. Bye. I'm sorry. I got it wrong. Seriously wrong. Linz? Please, please, please forgive me. What are you doing? Begging. Get up. Apology accepted. We've really, really missed you. I've missed you guys too. Um, we kind of need your help. Please. Okay.
Hijacking their car wash didn't work. And we only made 25 bucks. It was still a brilliant idea. 240, 245, 250. 250 buckaroonies! Yuck. The club can do some <laughs> mega stuff with this kind of money. Well, it was a good idea. We almost ruined the SOC's car wash. Ready? Ugh, I'm Aim. exhausted. I need a long, relaxing bath. And fire! Oh! How about a cold shower instead? <laughs> so tiara as a lana banana. The drowned rats of crescent. <laughs> Hi, Mr. S. Can we get five very, very smoothies, please? Oh, good to hear it, huh? I thought I might go out of business if my best customers started ordering only one smoothie to share. Eh? Don't worry about it, Mr. S. It's all in the past. <laughs> we all get $50. And then, when everyone arrives, we'll decide whether to put the money into the club or to use it for something else. Like, a new saddle and no hard feelings. Promise. That's okay. I don't want to use the car wash money for the saddle. I've managed to earn enough dog walking for a good second-hand one. So what are you going to do with your share, then? Do you know the wildlife shelter down by the creek? Mom says they may have to shut down because they can't afford to keep looking after the animals. I think they need the money more than I do. This class has a new social service project. All this year, we will raise money for the wildlife shelter. It'll be fun and we'll learn a lot about the wild creatures we share this place with. So take a bow, Kenny, Frankie, Lindsay, Felicity and Rosie, because you started it off by raising $200. $200? I thought we raised $250. I'm treasurer, I kept 50. What for? We may be generous, but we're not totally crazy. Missed the record by nine seconds. Lynn's here. It's saddle soap to make your new saddle perfect. From all of us. Thank you, guys. You didn't have to. Our pleasure. No problem. So, how many ideas have we got now? Mm, 62. That means with one a month, we'll have enough themed sleepovers to last us five years. <laughs> Sleepover challenge. What would you do if you won a million dollars? Trade Molly in for a proper sister. <laughs> what about you, Rosie? Buy a time machine. What for? Because you could always travel to the good times. Fliss was right. It felt good to help out the wildlife shelter, and it felt really good to have a bit left over for a top sleeper. So that's how we nearly lost Linz, and started a whole school charity thing, and how we almost got greedy. But as long as you've got your mates, it's money in the bank. Hanging around is just no fun when you're alone. Money can't buy happiness. It buys just about everything else, which is cool. Unless you haven't got any, which is depressing. I'm going to tell you what happened because I trust you. But remember, what happens in the club stays in the club. Or you may suffer the curse of a thousand bedbugs. 
Morning, Frankie. What's new? I looked at the girls and thought, would we still be doing this 70 years from now? Boredom? Double word score? That's not a B, Derry. That's a D. Are you sure? Frankie, you look like you swallowed a fly. Something's seriously wrong. I think I just saw into the future. Whoa, medical emergency. Calling Dr. Kenny. Calling Dr. Kenny. I think we need more pillows, nurse. I'm the only one who can perform this operation. <laughs> this kid has really flipped out. Let me get at her vital organs. <laughs> <laughs> She'll be all right now, nurse. If she starts talking about the future again, give her the pillow treatment. <laughs> now the council of war, council of war. So it's a real crisis then. I walked in and you guys were just hanging out. What did you expect, backflips? Just another sleepover, hey? Same old, same old. Well, you have to decide whether you want this to be a club or a loaf of bread. What's wrong with a loaf of bread? It goes stale and then it's toast. Every sleepover has to be special. This club has to be special. I'm open to suggestions. Hmm? Each sleepover will have its own theme. Not every week, maybe just once a month. Just think, witches and wizards sleepovers. Wild Wild West sleepovers. Detective sleepovers. It was Miss Plum in the kitchen with the spin off. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> but we'll have to do it right. Costumes and fix up the bedrooms properly. And get the right mood music. Um, isn't this going to cost a bit? I've got the gym corner coming up in three weeks and I really need to buy... Don't worry about the money. We'll get the money where we always get the money. Hi, Mum. I need some money. You guessed it. Our parents weren't quite as supportive as we expected. No chance. What's next? Cable TV in your bedroom? Well, <laughs> don't go there. If you want to buy fancy costumes, use your pocket money. My slave wages? I was going to talk to you about a raise, Mum. I'd get a good lawyer if I were you. How about a long-term loan? Frankie, if you need extra money, do what everyone else does. Work. Typical. My dad said it would be good for me. They always say that. Then they dump broccoli on your plate. Well, it sounds like that's our only choice. Eating broccoli? I don't have a lot of time with the Gymkhana coming up. Sleepover club rule number five. We, we love, love a, a challenge. challenge. Who wants to be a millionaire? Me, 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 me. You buy something for one dollar and then sell it for two dollars. You're in business, you've made a profit, and you're on your way. Now remember, the art of business is to find out what people want and then sell it to them. Matthew, you're a businessman. You own all the water in the world. It's mine. All mine. <laughs> Marco wants a drink of water. What are you going to charge him? 100 bucks a glass. Sucker. That's very <laughs> expensive. But miss, <coughs> I'm dying of thirst. Where's he going to go? I can charge whatever I like. That's called a monopoly. And that's why we have laws to stop one company owning everything. Healthy competition means a fair price for the customer. OK, we're a company. Sleepover Inc. All we have to do is figure out what people want and how to sell it to them. We should start a kitty. Bags being treasurer. Good idea. Any spare jobs we get, the money goes in a jar at this place. Beach out after school, all right? We need ideas. Sorry, I can't make it. I'm busy. You guys go ahead without me. See ya. Linz was acting suspiciously. It didn't take long for us to find out why. Yes, it was a deep, dark secret. Linz had her own money-making scheme on the side. Aren't you two meant to be at the beach hut? We thought we'd do a little investigating first. These aren't your dogs. Which means they belong to someone else. Let me continue. Which means you're getting paid to walk them. Mm -hmm. Which means the rumors are true. You do have a job. Are you two practicing for the detective sleepover already? Who told you? <laughs> I 
don't want to talk about it. The money was supposed to be for the club jar. We all agreed. No, it wasn't. Frankie just said it was. I tried to tell you earlier, but you wouldn't listen. Try to tell us what? Don't worry. I won't waste any more of your time. Time is money, as Frankie would say. You're a sneaking rat, Michael. Pass the cheese. <laughs> <laughs> They've only got one smoothie. Ugh, must be some weird sleepover thing. That is sad. We've got to give Lynn a chance to explain. I wasn't talking about Lynn's. I was talking about the smoothie. Get used to it. We're economizing. We came here to talk business. So can we talk business? Any ideas? Molly has a clarinet class tomorrow. What's that got to do with anything? It means I'm stuck with washing the car. Not car washing. It takes forever and it's so boring. It is if there's one person doing it, but not if there's five. True genius. We could scrub up a car in no time. I bet we could do three or four in the morning. Maybe even more than that, if we set it up right. Hey, it's Linz. I didn't come this way on purpose. I'm taking them home. Come join us. We've got a game plan. No dogs allowed. We're not going to hassle you about the money, Linz. If you need to keep it for an emergency or something, that's cool. It's not for an emergency. I need a new saddle for the Gymkhana, and walking these dogs is the only way I can afford to get one. If that makes me a traitor to the sleepover club, that's my bad luck. What's going on? Sara and Alana weren't going to ignore a chance like that. Let's go. Linz, are you okay? They were really horrible to you. It's none of your business. Ugh. Well, excuse us for caring. You guys never have fights. I don't stand by when someone looks like they're about to cry. I am not going to cry. The sleepover club's gone broke, if you must know. No big deal. So they want money, do they? We can set up next to the park. All the traffic goes that way to get to the mall. We better figure out what equipment we'll need. I wish Lynn's was here. Doesn't seem quite right without her, does it? She'll come around. We can whack these on telegraph poles after school on Friday. We'll wait until Saturday morning. Why? Because, in business, if you've got a good idea, you don't show anyone until you're ready to use it. Good thinking, Frankie. Or should I say Ms. Big? I'll get rid of her. What are you doing in there? Sorry, sleepover members only. What do you want? I've got a deal for you. Not interested. I happen to know that the sleepover club is in a hole because you can't afford to do anything. Says who? Look, I can fix things. You can still have all your special outings and feasts and parties and sleepover nights. Money will not be a problem. All you have to do is invite me to join. Hi, sleepover girls. Well, no vacancies. That is so not true. Lynn's told us she quit the club. No, she didn't. Yes, she did. Then she only thinks she has. She's not allowed to quit. But I'm offering you money. You can go now. <laughs> Meanwhile, Rosie was working on Lynn's. We've got a really good plan to make money. We're going to run a car wash in Park Street. Good for you. It's a job that really needs five. I'm busy walking the dogs. It's your money, Linz. Nobody thinks that you're a traitor to the club. What about the sleepover afterwards? You won't miss me. Of course we will. Did you really tell Sara and Alana that you'd quit the club? Why do you think I'd do that? Well, is Lindsay out of the club or not? I don't know. She's not talking to me. Can't you, like, read her mind or something? We're twins, not aliens. Warning, warning. We're in the presence of pure evil. <laughs> the sleepovers have something planned for this weekend. Do we look like we care? You could really spoil it. 
if you knew what it was. And what's it to you? Just thought you might be interested in showing the SOCs what competition is all about. There's money in it. Money? But you have to cut me and Alana in on it. It had better be a lot of money. Who bought these sponges? I did. I'm the sponge girl, as well as the car wash fashion consultant. Plus, those are the types you use on pots and pans. How many cars have you washed in your life? It's not big on my list of things to do. Come on, Eugene. No one's going to stop if they see you're arguing. The caps are cool, Swiss. Soft sponges only. Me and Kenny do the scrubbing. You're on the hose, Fliss. Rosa does windscreens and windows. Cool? That's what I was going to suggest. Our first day in business. It was exciting. Sleepover Inc. Who knows how far we could go. Matthew, Matthew, Matthew. I'm sorry, Miss Thomas. You're working for Sleepover Inc. now, Matthew. The biggest, the best, in a cold, ruthless world. We're better than anyone else. I'm sorry, Miss Thomas. Shape up or ship out. Yes, Miss Thomas. Better get these signs set up in John Dory Road so people know where we are. Come on, Fliss. Kenny and Fliss are putting up signs to direct traffic. We'll fix that. We'll get some barriers from the roadworks at the bottom of the street. It's like Miss Nichols said, they've got their car wash, we've got ours. Good, healthy competition. <laughs> oh yeah, we're, we're back. back. Dirty tricks is right. You took your time. We wanted to make sure we did the job properly. So you found the signs? Yes. Good. I don't want anyone messing this up. Oh, yes, Your Majesty. I still don't get it. Get what? Why we had to move the signs? If we want to divert the traffic from going down the sleepover street. So they don't have any customers. And direct them down our road. To our car wash. You got that, doofus? Right. Good plan. So it looks like the leftover girls are going to have a pretty lonely day. They'll really be leftovers this time. <laughs> what are you waiting for? There's customers to serve. Cars to wash. Money to make. You're still here. I'd expect you'd be washing cars by now. Maybe the motorists didn't see the signs. Are you saying we didn't put the signs up properly? I didn't say that. Because if you did, next time you can put them up yourself. Guys, come on. Hi, Lynn. Hi. We're expecting a stack of customers any minute. Good luck, then. We've got to get her back, Frankie. I don't see why we should call.
wrong with this picture? At least we look like we know what we're doing. Only there are no customers. And no traffic. I'm going to check it out. I don't think I'm going to make it. Need food. But there's crocodiles between us and the supplies. I think I can get past those savages without being caught, Professor. Good luck, Montana. You're the only chart she's got. <laughs> don't forget the jelly babies. Oh. Hey! <laughs> Having a good laugh, then? Frankie, you think I did this? Well, why would I bother? <laughs> think what you like. I don't care anymore. Bye! Come on, Frankie, game on! What happened? Lynn's got her own back. She diverted the traffic. I don't believe it. Meanwhile, Rosie had found out the truth. <laughs> the M&Ms have got their own car wash going on the other side of the park. The rats. The M&Ms? <laughs> oh, no. People are going to get fed up here if we don't get a move on. Now I felt really bad. Give me ten minutes. Hey! Where are you going? To do some crawling. <sighs> Thank you so much. Oh, my pleasure. See you tomorrow. Bye. Bye. I'm sorry. I got it wrong. Seriously wrong. Linz? Please, please, please forgive me. What are you doing? Begging. Get up. Apology accepted. We've really, really missed you. I've missed you guys too. Um. We kind of need your help. Please. OK. Hijacking their car wash didn't work. And we only made 25 bucks. It was still a brilliant idea. 240, 245, 250. 250 buckaroonies! Yo! The club can do some <laughs> mega stuff with this kind of money. Well, it was a good idea. We almost ruined the SOC's car wash. Ready? Ugh, I'm Aim. exhausted. I need a long, relaxing bath. And fire! Oh. How about a cold shower instead? <laughs> so, so Tiara as a Lana Banana. The drowned rats of Crescent. <laughs> Hi, Mr. S. Can we get five very, very smoothies, please? Oh, good to hear it, huh? I thought I might go out of business if my base customers started ordering only one smoothie to share. Eh? Don't worry about it, Mr. S. It's all in the past. <laughs> we all get $50. And then, when everyone arrives, we'll decide whether to put the money into the club or to use it for something else. Like, a new saddle. And no hard feelings. Promise. That's okay. I don't want to use the car wash money for the saddle. I've managed to earn enough dog walking for a good second-hand one. So what are you going to do with your share, then? Do you know the wildlife shelter down by the creek? 
Mom says they may have to shut down because they can't afford to keep looking after the animals. I think they need the money more than I do. This class has a new social service project. All this year we will raise money for the wildlife shelter. It'll be fun and we'll learn a lot about the wild creatures we share this place with. So take a bow, Kenny, Frankie, Lindsay, Felicity and Rosie, because you started it off by raising $200. $200? I thought we raised $250. I'm treasurer. I kept 50 What for? We may be generous, but we're not totally crazy. <laughs> Missed the record by nine seconds. Lynn's here. It's saddle soap to make your new saddle perfect. From all of us. Thank you, guys. You didn't have to. Our pleasure. No problem. So, how many ideas have we got now? Mmm, 62. That means, with one a month, we'll have enough themed sleepovers to last us five years. <laughs> Sleepover challenge. What would you do if you won a million dollars? Trade Molly in for a proper sister. <laughs> what about you, Rosie? Buy a time machine. What for? Because you could always travel to the good times. Fliss was right. It felt good to help out the wildlife shelter, and it felt really good to have a bit left over for a top sleepover. <laughs> so that's how we nearly lost Linz and started a whole school charity thing, and how we almost got greedy. But as long as you've got your mates, it's money in the bank.